Hello friends, in today's part, I am going to show you how to switch this dimension space into this, right? In this video, I am going to show you the two methods to have dimension like this and like this. This is called a dimension baseline and this is your dimension continue. Now take a look. Now see here, I want to assign my first dimension that's called my dimension baseline, right? So to apply dimension baseline, you need to have your first dimension linear one, right? So I'm going to assign one dimension linear. Say command is DLI enter and I'm going, to, I'm going to space the dimension here like this. Now the command for dimension baseline is simply DBA enter. Otherwise you can go here and notate and here you will have this option continue and in this top down menu you will have dimension baseline, right? Now command for dimension baseline simply DBA enter. See here automatically it takes your reference from your base right so I need to continue from here to next origin again next next like that I can assign my dimension baseline so see here after assigning my dimension I'm going to escape from this command and then see here it is not adjusted according to their spaces right it is not maintained spacing between each others so to maintain the spacing, you will have another command that's called as dimension baseline. And you can go also here annotate, and here you will have this dimension space. Right? Now, command for dimension space, say dim space, enter. Now it will also specify or select base dimension. I'm going to select this base dimension first, and then remaining dimension you have to select. So I'm going to select this remaining dimension, hit enter. Now it will ask you enter value. So I don't know the text size of my dimension, right? Now see here, if I don't know, so I will specify this automatic option, hit enter. Now automatically it will adjust it according to the text height. So this is your one part. Now, second part, I'm copying this same model. Now see here, I'm going to specify dimension like here, right? I'm going to specify dimension linear. Now see here, this is not matching or aligned with each other, right? Like this. Sometimes you have or you may have these problems, right? Now I need to align this dimension with my base dimension or this dimension, right? Whatever it is. Now to align with the dimension or to maintain the spacing with each other, you will have the same command that's called as dimension space, right? Now command for dimension space again, dim space, hit enter. Now I need to align this all this dimension with this one, right? So you need to specify or select first this dimension. Then the rest of the others, you need to select other dimensions, say select dimension to space. So I'm going to select this dimensions, hit enter. Now see here, this is your entirely aligned with, this must have to align with each other, right? So enter value, you will have to specify as a zero, hit enter. Now automatically, it is aligned with each other. Now this is your one of the method. Another method is simply, I'm going to show you here like this. Another method is called as dimension continue. For dimension continue and dimension baseline, you, you must have your one dimension, right? So I'm going to specify first dimension as dimension linear. Then go to dimension continue. Otherwise, command for dimension continue is simply DCO, hit enter. Now see here, it will continue from your base or for first object, first dimension, right? So specify your next origin point for your dimension, again next, again next, again next. So like that you can specify your dimension continue. So this is your solution for space your dimensions. So thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.